In this video, we will learn how to make the network optimization experiment consider more than one objective. As we know, the network optimization experiment optimizes the supply chain in terms of profit, which is its primary objective, but you can always add another objective to consider. The experiment will optimize the supply chain in terms of all the objectives you define. Let's have a closer look at how it is done. We will use a simple scenario with several factories supplying distribution centers that are processing orders from the customers. We have two vehicle types with different capacities. In the paths table, we can see the paths on which the vehicles are used and the amount of carbon dioxide they produce. Let us run the experiment with the default objective to see the optimal profit this supply chain generates regardless of the carbon dioxide emissions. We made $1,116,000,000. This is the best achievable profit that we can count on with the current supply chain structure. Now let us add one more objective. We will assume that we want to reduce the amount of carbon dioxide our supply chain generates. This can be done in two steps. First, we need to realize that reducing the amount of carbon dioxide emissions will inevitably decrease our profit. Let's say that the acceptable profit we aim at in this case is $1 this figure should become the new default objective. We will use a custom constraint to do it. In the custom constraints table, we create a new total profit constraint. And define the expression that explains what this constraint consists of, or in other words, how to calculate it. We are selecting only the objective members that are used in our supply chain. Your supply chain might require additional objective members for this expression. We know that to get the profit, we need to subtract all the expenses from the received revenue. That is why we set coefficients to negative one for all the variables that represent expenses. Now let us add the new default objective. There, we have defined the primary objective. Now we will move on to the second step, in which we will adjust the members of the experiment's objective function. Here we disable all the members, since the experiment already considers them in the custom constraint that we have just defined. And we will keep the CO2 emission member enabled, making it a new objective this way. We're done here. Both objectives are set. Let's run the experiment and see how the numbers change. Splendid. As you can see, we made exactly 1 billion. And we also generated 108 billion of carbon dioxide emissions. If we compare this to the first result, we will see that the new amount is significantly less this time. And that is how you do it. The supply chain is now optimized in terms of both objectives. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to click all the buttons below this video. See you next time.